Hey everybody, I'm Rick Beato. I've had a lot of requests today because of the Chris Cornell video from yesterday about how to play the song that we played called Seasons. Uh, it's really in kind of a strange tuning and I don't normally teach songs on here but I figured that since I got so many questions about the tuning, it's an open tuning and it's really kind of odd and it's really very much a Chris Cornell type tuning. It's tuned in a in an F5 chord, but you have to tune the open strings first. So I tune the open strings, I do, I do a drop D, so I go D, A, D, um, A, A, D. I got it close here, because once I put the uh, capo on, I'm gonna have to retune. So I put the capo at the third fret, and that's usually going to make the strings jump a little sharp. I put it on pretty good and tight. That's actually pretty good. So there's essentially three or four, I think there's four sections to the tune. The first chord is up at the 13th fret. I'm, I'm calling it the 13th. Here's the 12th fret. I'm going to the 13th. Even though I have capo three, I'm going to refer to this as the 13th fret, just so you know where it is. So I'm playing here and here. I'm playing on the E string and the D string. And it's, so all the chords in the intro and the bridge, the intro and the bridge are the same thing. All the chords are uh, using this fingering. So, so it's here, then it goes, which would be the, let's see, one, two, three, third fret above the capo. Then I come up to the 12th fret, the re actual 12th fret, that's how you can measure it. So 13. Then I'm at the 5th fret, or it would really be the 7th uh, fret, but... So it's, it's up here at 13, then 3 frets above the capo, or the 6th fret, I'm going to refer to it. So it starts up here at the 13th fret, I'm going to refer to the actual fret numbers. We're going to pretend the capo's not on it. So, 13, 6, 12, 7, 10. Okay, so that's the intro. So it's it's literally same chord shape. So 13, 6, 12, 7, 10, and then it goes to the G, A and G string, same shape. Okay, those two things, you got the string skipped and you're playing all the open strings. So I'm going, I'm doing a slide up from the 13th fret up to the 15th. 12th to the 7th, or 8th, I'm sorry. Then you're back to the first part. Then 7, then back to the... Then it holds there. So the only, the tricky thing here is this part. So 13, 15, 13, 12, 8. And then you get into the picking section, okay? And the picking section is basically is using these strings. So, and then it goes to these three strings. So you always have the open D and G. And I'm going. Sometimes he does that. Sometimes he goes. He actually varies it. It's it's improvised, really. All you have to do is really, I go down, up, down, I'm just alternate picket. Now, it does that all the way through the entire first verse and first chorus, and then the second verse, and then the next new section is the chorus, which is this. So you're going on the, the A and G string, you're doing the same thing here. Open, then two frets above the capo. So it'd be like the fifth fret to the seventh fret in real time. And 
then I'm up here at the eighth fret, eighth real fret, okay? I'm not, I'm not saying above the capo. It's just easier to visualize it. It's interesting because you keep her. Then you hear When you hear that major, it's, it just makes the chorus lift so much more. Then there's a section after the chorus where it does, there's, there's a double bridge riff section. There's two riffs. One of, it, one of them is a. So it's open, second fret, and I'm doing those two fingers there. And then I'm going here. go you could actually play a power chord there but I like I think you can play it like that do a power chord there so so that's the first half of the bridge and then it goes So I'm going by third fret above the capo. And I'm going from uh, would be the third to the fifth fret above the capo. But you could go and you play single notes if you want. Or it was hard, it's a little bit harder to play. I would just play. Each way will accomplish the same thing. This is a little harder to play. That's how I played it in the video. And then it goes back to the um, to the chorus. Four times. And then right before the bridge. So right before it goes back to the reintro or the the really the actual bridge with the singing part on it, which is really the intro again, it does, it's the only time there's a little change. It goes. So you go to the fifth fret above the capo. Or set, let's say seventh fret, actual seventh fret. So that's how you can find these things, a fret marker. So the tenth. Then, then it goes back to the intro. Then the next section is the the riff section of the first bridge. And it ends with the harmonics at the fifth and fifteenth. That's a harmonic at the fifteenth fret. Because remember, you have the capo at the third fret, so I'm going up here. So this would be the third fret above the twelfth fret. But oh, that's an overdub because the other guitar comes in with the. So it does that, um, I think, four times, and then the vocal comes in, or might do it eight times. That's a lot of times. And then it, the vocal comes in over this two times. Then it goes. Then the very endings. Be the seventh fret above, above from you know, imagine the cable's not there. Seven, ten, then open to that F5 chord. So that is how you play seasons. There's really about four sections, and there's a one, one little interlude.
that's used twice as a lead into the the reintro and as a uh, the ending so that's it that is seasons please subscribe here to my everything music YouTube channel and if you're interested in the Beato book, you can write me at rickbeato1 at gmail.com. I'm Rick Beato.